So if you're planning your first adventure with Norwegian Cruise Line, you're in for a treat. That's right. And to make your cruise even smoother, we've come up with 14 essential tips that every new NCL cruiser needs to know. Hi, I'm Rex. And I'm Kara, and we're the Roaming Roundtrees. So tip number one, right when you board the ship, contact your cabin steward. If your cabin attendant has not come to your door already, you can use the phone in your stateroom to contact them directly. And when you do that, you want to ask for extra hangers. Once all these extra hangers are gone, they're gone. So go ahead and ask for them in advance. He'll bring you a, a good chunk of them. That way you don't have to worry as you're unpacking that you don't have enough hangers to hang your things. While you have them on the phone, ask them for tip number two, an iron and an ironing board. Now the ship's not gonna let you bring one of these on by yourself, no. but they do have plenty of them in each floor that they can loan you if you need them. So when you unpack those suitcases and have those nicely pressed uh, clothes that have got wrinkles in them now, you can take those wrinkles back out, hang them on your uh, new hangers that you just got, and you're good to go for the rest of the cruise. Now, since the irons and the ironing boards are limited, the sooner you get that request in, the better. That way it's delivered to you while you are unpacking and you're not waiting a day or two or more to get that iron and ironing. And before you hang up that phone, make sure you ask for tip number three. Ask for more pillows. If your travel advisor hasn't already put that flag on your reservation and you have those extra pillows now, I urge you to check the pillows. Make sure they work for you. Some people don't like them super fluffy. Some people love them super fluffy. Whatever it is, just ask him for whatever pillow works for you, especially if you're on a long cruise because you're gonna be sleeping however, and you definitely don't want that kink in your neck to happen on day three. So try and find something that remotely serves as it would as your second home and get that pillow that works for you. Tip number four, all rooms these days have a way for you to communicate with your cabin steward, either with a dial on the outside that says, do not disturb, please make up my room, or it could be an electronic version inside the room where you push buttons and it will say do not disturb on the outside. But this is a great way for you to get some peace and quiet when you want it and get people to come in and provide their services for you when you need those as well. So tip number five, the fish in the hallways swim forward. That was a really cool tip years ago when we got it, but in a lot of the Norwegian cruise ships, down the cabin hallways, there are fish on the floor. So the carpet has these wonderful fish that's swimming down. There's always one red one going the opposite direction. So you, it helps you know where you are on the ship. So the fish always swim forward, which means if you come off the midship elevators and you know that your cabin is forward, then you follow the fish. If you know your cabin is in the aft, then you follow the little red fish. It's pretty cool. Tip number six, always bring a highlighter. Each day your cabin steward is going to bring a freestyle daily, which is the itinerary of events that are going on on the ship that day. There's a long list of things on there and by bringing a highlighter, you can tag the ones that you are most interested in. That way you don't miss anything. <laughs> like that. Tip number seven, stay connected wisely. Be sure to put your phone in airplane mode. Don't leave your cellular signal open while you are at sea. I did this once, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I was surprised by a really large cell phone bill when I got back. So don't let that happen to you. Tip number eight, understand the ship's tendering process. Some ports don't have solid docks that they can pull up to. So they have to lower the lifeboats into the water and drive you to shore that way. This can be a very long process and always requires you to get tickets in order to get off the ship in a timely manner. Norwegian will always make announcements telling you how to go about getting your tickets. You'll even see it in your freestyle daily that you've highlighted already. And another tip for you is to send one person to go get the tickets for your entire party. That ensures two things. One, that there's fewer people in the line to, to get these tickets, but two, it also makes sure that one person can get everyone on the same boat. So tip number nine, book and buy everything 
in advance, before you board the ship. Do this from the Norwegian app or online on the computer, however you are most comfortable, but do it before boarding the ship. You will avoid long lines and just chaos trying to do it on board. Mm -hmm. So the things that you have to do on board, yes, you're gonna to have to do those on board, but everything else, shore excursions, drink packages, Wi-Fi, do it before you board. And speaking of booking early, tip number 10, don't forget about those specialty dining reservations. This has become a very popular item on, on Norwegian and all cruise ships, frankly, is to go to the specialty dining restaurants. They serve upscale food that is far different than it is in the main dining room. And so a lot of people are interested in these. If you wait to book these specialty dinings when you're on board already, a lot of the times that you're gonna prefer to eat are already gonna be reserved. So you may have a lot of 9.30 reservations or 4.30 <laughs> in the afternoon reservations, times you just do not want. And you can avoid that by booking everything from home before you leave. So tip number 11, YouTube is your friend. Watch a cabin tour of your cabin category. And in some cases, your actual cabin may be highlighted. You're gonna get a lot of different videos for that ship that category, and you just might end up with that exact cabin. Watch maneuverability from storage, outlets. Biggest thing is outlets. We're on a ship, as you can probably tell right now, and there are no outlets on either side of the bed, which for charging your phones and your other devices, it's tough. We have to put them somewhere else. So, And knowing what the outlet is, because not all outlets are from your home country. So if you only have a few from your home country or none, you wanna make sure you've brought those adapters that are required to make your home country's plugs work on the ship. Tip number 12, bring electrical tape. Why am I saying electrical tape? If you're someone like me that notices every dot, every LED light, every speck of light that comes on in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep, Electrical tape is your friend. Bring a small roll of it or even just a few strips if that's all you need. But you can cover up those LED lights on the fire alarm or on, the, you know, that, that may be coming through the window, something the TV, like that. That's your big one. The, the TV. TV. <laughs> the TV's a big one. You're right. It just helps you block out those distractions so you can get the perfect night's sleep. Tip number 13. Bring one or two clothespins with you. These are lightweight, they throw in anywhere, but when you have the drapes that come together like this and there'll be that little crack down the middle of them, you can fold that over and close pin those down and then you know that the sun's not coming in on you in the morning for sure. It'll be nice and dark in your room. And finally, tip number 14, laundry. Midway through your cruise, Norwegian is gonna slide a discounted laundry flyer into your Freestyle Daily. To get the most value out of that discount, and to cram as much laundry as you can into that small paper bag that they give you for laundry, follow our laundry burrito hack. This in essence layers all of your clothes and you can roll them as tightly as possible to fit them in that bag and get as much value out of that surface as you can. We get a lot of clothes in that paper bag without ripping it. So this is definitely a hack you wanna know about. And those are our 14 essential tips for new NCL cruisers. We hope these make your cruise more enjoyable. If you have any other questions or want specific details on anything we've talked about in this video, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel tips and adventures. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.